Hi there everyone, first Chan. Uh, we have uh, a new application, <laughs> this uh, Kalido Face 3D there, face and full body, this is uh, full body but more like upper body there, with 3D model, and they also have uh, a live 2D version too, so there you go, that's the live 2D version as well, if you're interested too, it's a different website, kalidoface.com for the live 2D, and for the live 3D, that will not, not the live 3D, but the 3D one. This one uh, is this is the one we'll be going to talk about here. It's a new one. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff there. And you can see the demo too. Uh, there you go. <laughs> we can see that. Yeah, we can pretty much do the same, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the two hands at the same time. Hi right there. Yep, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool application. It's in the, it's in your browser too. So let's see what we have on the other side. There, there you go. Now we are in the application now. Uh, I put a green screen because that's what I want to use for OBS uh, for setting it ending up on the OBS section. So yeah, that's why I have a green screen here. So if if you want to do your green screen, that's pretty much how you do it. Go background, and you see it, and you see it on the left side there. Uh, we chose the green background here and it, obviously you can always upload more background if you want. After that uh, you have uh, stickers. Stickers are either uh, image, uh, gif or uh, mo movie you can uh, put on the screen there. After that I click that and it's over. Oh and you can actually drag it right? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh God. After that, you have characters. Characters. I did the. I did what I. Uh, what I did here is I uploaded my my whole uh, avatar. Make sure it's a .vrm file. The thing you can do with the uh, .vrm is either Vroid Studio and create your own avatar uh, with that for v .vrm file. You can change the stuff. Then you can create uh, and export it, and, and it become a, a .vrm file there. Another another option is Vroid Mobile, the one I did use and we did a video previously too. You can check the link uh, in the description and we already covered it and that's all I was made. I was made with Vroid Mobile here, so easier than Vroid Studio. Uh, Vroid Studio allow you to do uh, a little bit more customization but Vroid Mobile is easier so less customization there. So back behind the hood here. Uh, so we have our character, we upload it, the dot vrm file, if we don't have one we can use either of those uh, applications to do it. Uh, first person mode, <laughs> so if you want to go in your character and move around with your character I guess, in the first person mode, but yeah, let's click escape to it. So what else do we have here, uh, we did a character, we did stickers, background, color friend. Color friend, uh, you share that digit with the uh, chat ID there and you can do collabs with someone else. Uh, and they will see, you will both see both avatar there as a VTuber, so it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, let's do a collab there. And it appears on the same screen there. Yep. That's what you can do with color friend. Uh, in your setting, uh, you have the two options here, either face, eye, and full body. Uh, what we're doing here, we're doing both. So we can wink wink there for the face face and eye. We have the mod, mod, mod action too as well. Full body for the arm and the fingers. It's not total full body, but yeah. It's like more more like upper body, but yeah. Also do take note that uh, having both at the same time uh, requires more resources. Definitely more resource intensive. So, so as you say for performance, choose one only one. Yep. If you have issue with your performance there. And you can see, I can see, you can see Liz there, uh, <laughs> yeah, and the webcam theme there, webcam feed there, the, you see all this tracking there, and obviously when you're streaming you stop, you, you hide your control there, and people won't see behind the screen there, and so you don't, they don't have to see that, so you can hide that. That's pretty much uh, that application, so let's go into OBS now and see how we can set up, that, set up that in OBS there. So now we are in OBS and now we set it up. Uh, we had the new source, window capture, 
and we will select Kaido Face 3D uh, as the window capture. There you go. After that, we have to remove the green screen. We'll uh, click, uh, right click there, filters, and we'll have the color key. Yep. The thing with color key is they have a contrast, contrasting color of form your character, so the software is able to remove it and not your character. Green is usually safe. So remove that, so to remove all the green. Seems about right, right? There's no more green left. Close that. And what I like to do after that is uh, looking at the result in, with a game in the background. So we seem to be losing some of the, the hair glitch down there. And uh, we'll probably need to tweak some of the filters. So we go there, filters. And let's reduce that a little bit there. That seems about right. No green. And we, didn't, we, didn't, we don't lose our hair. So that seems about right there. Every character will be different, so you just have to to do that there. And that's it for uh, window capture. <laughs> One last thing that I forgot to... It's because it's a uh, kind of little face is uh, a browser. You can see here at the top here. Uh, you see the, the, browser the browser page if you do put your list down at, at the bottom there. So you have to be able to remove that, so we'll... Uh, Cut that, so we we'll right click there, and we'll transform, and we'll edit transform, and we'll crop the top here, and we'll crop the top like that, that until we have, uh, we don't have our browser, there you go, seems about right now, so we don't have that bar, that bar at the top there, so it looks more clean when you stream there, a game, <laughs> don't have a browser, because it's kind of the face today, is a browser, so that's a little touch there. I was uh, uh, I forgot to mention there. There you go. That's that's that. You're good now. It's pretty much the same thing in uh, any tracking software you use. You do a window capture and you remove the green or whatever the color you choose there with the color key. So yeah, that's a uh, that's it. Uh, happy happy gaming, uh, happy VTubing uh, with Kaido face 3D. Spogger dude.